the way I learn the best is just by doing. And I like my own space and I like my own time and I like to choose how that time is spent. And school is none of those things. The only way to find out what makes you feel alive is to spend time experimenting. And most young people don't get that chance to experiment. No matter how much we've gone to formal schools, most of what we know that's meaningful to us comes from self-directed education. The whole normal path that people take, I can't imagine myself being on that path. I'm very self-directed, and when I want things, I really want them. And there is some merit to being able to dive deeply into one specific thing and just get really good at it. I hated school. I guess you'd say I was a third grade dropout. So I essentially started doing my own thing. I guess that's what I did for the next 10 years. We don't, as a culture, trust teenagers or children. We're pretty sure that if we leave them to their own devices, they will make rotten decisions. Could we just let them be and see what they do and be curious what people do with freedom? I've always been fascinated with the idea of being my own boss and being in charge of my own schedule because being raised as an unschooler, I, I didn't like to be told when I needed to be somewhere, how I needed to do something. It's just the sense of freedom, the sense of not feeling like I'm working towards somebody else's ideal perception of what I should be doing. The idea is to question the wisdom you've received from friends, family, from society, and then to make up your own mind, to really be an independent thinker, to know who you are and what you want and what you want to do. I think that self-directed education has the chance of allowing us to come to what is our real self-interest. I think an education is the capacity to author your own life instead of merely accepting the one that you've been handed.